Happy Saturday morning. Let's build a bike. This is not the first video in this series of the bike build. So go check out the first video. I walk you through how to plan and prepare for a successful build. Uh, there's nothing more disappointing than coming to build day and you don't have all the parts you need or you don't have the right parts you need. I will be using or reusing parts from two different bikes. Let's say quick recap here of some of the things that were covered in episode one of this bike build series is, is that I will be reusing specific parts from this bike, my full suspension bike, which is my daily rider. You, if you go check out the videos on my channel uh, to see me riding that bike in various trails. And then I also have a, a hardtail bike that I will be borrowing some of the parts from or actually reusing some of the parts from. So I sourced my bike from Competitive Cyclists. This is the second time I've actually used their service and I can say they are phenomenal. And not only can you buy a frame or source components or buy a complete bike build, you can also do a custom bike build. Um, nice beefy cardboard. These are the, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, try to get the camera to focus, but these are the Trail 270s. These are fairly new uh, from Industry 9, and I think this uh, throw away. Uh, these cardboard dividers. Uh, you have to seal it for the, um, with the, the bike if you order from them. So. Perfect. Frame. Give it a good tight. All right, if you notice, I was talking about earlier, the linkage connection here is actually on the top tube. It's actually integrated into the top tube, so that's definitely uh, different. Also, the uh, rear linkage at the bottom is also changed. You notice that it actually goes over top of the shell for the bottom bracket versus uh, in the 2015 model it goes under and I'll, I'll do, do a comparison in a minute where the linkage actually connects on the 2015 model is down the seat tube and notice the bottom linkage is actually below the bottom bracket shell which gives it a potential to uh, to scrape and there's actually uh, a fitting down there for grease to grease the linkage too and so that can get destroyed if you're not careful. So, mainstay covers, and rear seat stay cover. Let's see if I can fit this around here. Stay tuned for the next video where we will actually put some frame protection on this bike, and I'll show you how to do that. All right guys, this is the first time to this channel. Please go subscribe, share it with your friends if they're into mountain biking or even building bikes. There's a whole series of this particular bike build that I'll be publishing. If you like this build, hit the thumbs up button and click that bell for notifications.